Lee Slattery. The smooth, swinging Lee Slattery, just a bit of a sawn or follow through, just trying to ease it in there. Take the spin off it, keep the wind off it. Just putting into that back left corner today. Bins it. Tidy little birdie. Gets to three under the cart. Slattery. Second into 12 for Lee. What is it that has uh, gotten into the, the Czech water, the Prague water for Lee Slattery? Fourth <laughs> last year, second the year before. From the back plateau down the ridge it'll roll out needs to grow oh beautiful what a stunner up to five under par three under in the last two holes This for a birdie. Stroke look good, just overread it. goes. Stays at six under. <coughs> Lovely. Quite a challenging drive at 18. Hence the iron for safety from Lee. Water all the way down the left. Second to 18 for Slattery. Keeping an eye on it. Liked it. Chance for a fun finish. Into the final hole. Birdie putt to get to seven under. Yes. Good man. Couldn't see it. <laughs> Can see the scorecard though. Fourth and second in his last two starts around this layout. A 65 today finds Lee Slattery at the top of the leaderboard alongside the South African Van Royen. Lee is 65, some sparkling golf out there. How do you reflect on it now as the rains come down? I know, I know, being born lucky there. Uh, but it's, I mean, it, it was quite wet out there, to be honest. I mean, it was, it was kind of like playing target golf. You know, this place can get really fast and fiery, and it has been over the years. But today, it was, it was a different golf course. It played quite long, but you just throw darts at the, at the pins, and um, yeah, quite enjoyed it, really. Bird Eagle on 11-12, talk to us about those putts. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, well, the one on 11, uh, you know, I played the hole pretty well. I had one four nine into the wind with my second shot after a good drive and uh, managed to get it in there to about 18 feet and hold a really nice putt. Um, and then next hole, I mean, playing with two bombers today, Bearmister and Pulkin, and um, I, I couldn't catch them all the way around, but I managed to hit a good one down there. It, it gave me the option of going for it, and I decided I was going to take it on. Um, hit a lovely three wood, middle of the green hold about a 45 50 footer down the slope so that that was definitely the turning point in the round you have to be shooting darts as well though great approach to 15 share us share with us your thoughts on that well i mean i played the first four holes today so badly um you know i played them like a 15 handicapper that's what it felt like a good drive up the first and then it's straight right into a hazard but it jumped out uh, managed to get it up by the green and hold a putt from off the green so it was a good start and then i three put the next hit a bad wedge in there and Fat it on the next and then hit my drive right on the next, hit it over the back of the green, up and down. And I'm thinking this could be anything today. And as it turned out, it was, it was seven under par, but um, it was a bit of a surprise to play that well on the back nine after not playing great on the front nine. So were you inspired by events in Istanbul last night? 
I did actually stay up and watch that. I shouldn't have, but uh, I stayed up and watched it. And yeah, I mean, just, I mean, I had butterflies in my stomach more than seeing it up in the US Open. You know, you just want them to win as many trophies as possible. Uh, but that was, it was brilliant last night. Could have gone either way. Well, you're off to a perfect start here. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. To watch European Tour video, click here. Subscribe, click here.